What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know I promised you guys a tour of our Halloween uh, decorations inside and outside. So that is what we're going to do today. Uh, not a super long video, but I can run through a little bit about what we collect and why we collect it and then why it also has some value to it. So I'm going to flip this around and let's uh, go through and we'll show you guys exactly what we have. All right guys, so let's start off. We got some blow molds inside as well. Amber likes collecting these small little blow molds. Um, these are actually quite valuable. They can go from like 50 to $75 depending on uh, the blow mold. But she can, has a you know, nice pumpkin decor around. But she also has the, the paper, uh, paper, cardboard displays as well. Now, so if you're looking at these and you want to start collecting these as something to uh, have value, the Beastlies, I think they're called, or Bestlies, I, I, I make the exact word on them. But those are the ones that are the most collectible and also the most uh, hold the most value. So um, we run over here. There's a few more of these as up on the side over here as well. But those are the ones that uh, always uh, seem to fetch a good amount of money if you're going to sell them. Then, of course, she has her uh, top of her cupboards decorated, more blow molds, uh, pumpkins, you know, not all old stuff. Um, but she has some really cool stuff up there. Like I said, more blow molds that, you know, blow molds are a very popular thing right now, as you guys are finding out in a lot of our videos. Uh, blow molds always fetch some good money every now and then, but there's more Beastlies up there. And she has more stuff up top over here. Um, but let's run into the other room here. Excuse uh, any kind of uh, mess we just had, the big Halloween get together, so. More beastlies up there. Then of course you get over here and you get to the popcorn decor. I mean, these are um, getting harder and harder to come by. You can usually fetch them for like $15 to $25 depending on the, uh, the one you're looking for. Uh, but there's plenty out there that we don't have either. I mean, so we're always on the lookout for more Halloween stuff and more Halloween decor. Um, but yeah, this is just uh, something that shakes you inside. I mean, the outside is mainly our prime focus for halloween uh you guys will notice inside we do a lot for christmas and outside we do a lot for christmas but for halloween we do a lot more outside than inside which we'll get to after this so these are halloween village we bought these a long time ago uh probably about 10 10 12 years ago the halloween villages are getting to the point where they can fetch some actually really good money as well uh so always keep an eye out for the older halloween village stuff because uh, some of these buildings can go for $10, $20, $30 a piece, if not more, on some of these. Um, found a headless mannequin. So, of course, she gets the lighted pumpkin on top. And then over here, we got the uh, one more blow mold. Again, a harder one to come by with the, the witch and the pumpkin. So, yeah, let's uh, oh, we got one more beastly over here again. Skeleton, full body, pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, let's. Uh, oh, she has a couple of these old lights too. These ain't turned on, but the old uh, pumpkin Halloween lights. And actually, she has another another beast over here. Or, hopefully, I'm not saying that wrong. But yeah, let's take a run outside. We'll show you guys the lighted up version of how outside looks. I mean, it's pretty pretty awesome. So, hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, so you've seen it during the day. Now you got to see it at night and see it all lit up, man. This thing is absolutely amazing out here. Now, this is our pumpkin collection. These are all blow molds. Most of these you can get for anywhere from 25 to 50 bucks. Some even a little more, a little less, but man, this is just an awesome setup. She sets these up so well. There's a little different heights on every one of them, so it looks really good. Uh, but she does a really good job with the pumpkin setup here. We've got the ones that set up on the ledge up here. It's really cool. But then the new addition this year, let me get the, the heads up there. Those are cool. <laughs> Even the new addition this year, and if you've been watching our auction adventure videos, are the mannequins. The mannequins are scattered throughout this, uh, the yard as well. There's a mannequin under here. We have some masks on them. A couple of the kicking ghosts. Like I said, a bunch of vintage Halloween blow molds. A bunch you guys can go see up front, but then... We just picked this up this year. This isn't vintage. This is new, but I think these are going to become super collectible because uh, they're already discontinuing them. But check out this guy. He's the Night Reaper. 
He's about nine foot tall, 12 foot wide. Very cool piece. And of course you ride out front here and we also got a couple more blow molds here and blow molds, mannequins. I said we get the nice creepy faces on them. These are all old mannequins. Uh, we picked these up again. If you watch our auction videos, we picked these up quite a bit around there. Got a nice pirate one over here. Pretty cool. But yeah, this is our little scene. More mannequins and as well as uh, skeletons. And then we got the big skelly. Amber has a nice little fire where we're cooking humans, it looks like. But let me get in here under the caution tape. The girls uh, made up their own uh tombstone headstone things this one tipped over it's a little chilly out guys it's supposed to be like 37 degrees for halloween out here so it's going to be a cold one but it's gonna be a lot of fun more mannequins you guys remember this one from the auction adventures uh when we got all those mannequins again more more masks and here's this really cool one we found this great mask they're like roasting a human being i <laughs> uh, love it but yeah, and again, picked up this one at an auction a while back in Portland. Funny how I remember that. And then everybody watching the human get baked. And then, of course, the large 12-foot skeleton, I believe it is. This thing is humongous. Again, it makes it look a little different during the day and that night. But, but yeah, we'll go on the porch later. But here's a little more, a couple more blow molds. Picked this one up at an auction. Most of these guys, hey guys, go for 50 to 150 bucks all day. Another mannequin. So here's what these mannequins look like, and that's why they're so cool and creepy. Look at that. These old mannequins are so creepy. People, oh, people get so freaked out when they drive by the house. But uh, yeah, here's more blow molds back here. The turtle I bought at the auction adventure, if you guys remember that. That's the uh, mask on that. A couple more of these guys over here attending to the graveyard. Then we got some more blow molds. We got skeletons climbing on the climbing on the house. And then we got more blow molds back here. Like I said, she has a really awesome collection. This is just a lot of fun. Kids love it. We have so many people that stop by and just drive by the house and stop and take pictures. And man, we love it and we enjoy it. We're glad people enjoy what we like to do for, for Halloween. Uh, but you know it's just fun you want to have fun you want to have the kids have fun because they don't you know there's not a lot of fun things you get to do anymore so to get this, as long as someone gets to get out here and enjoy this stuff that's what we hope for another mannequin sitting up in the up there in the in the bush all right let's get on the porch here we'll go through we'll even show you the pumpkins we did this year this is amber's always creative yep it's a little beat up it's cold and my this is my traditional one every year the puke and pumpkin every year always do the same kids always yell at me more mannequins more blow molds i believe that's eliza's and veronica's and lily's then we got another creepy good georgie from it is what we're calling it nice mannequin set up here another one down there then we got of course can't have halloween without michael myers so another great mannequin set up there and then we got more blow molds up here. This vampire one's a pretty rare Drac Dracula one. It's a pretty rare one. I think this is like a $150 one. And of course, you got the more wall setup suns up here. That's from Spirit of Halloween. We kind of got over the animatronics. We've had a couple of them like this guy here. They just quit working after a while. So we're kind of phasing out of the animatronics, same as the witch. And we're going to let those go. Uh, got more mannequin heads up here. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much the look at night. Since you guys have already seen the look during the day um, and how our inside looks, like I said, this is something we love to do. Uh, decorating for the holidays is another thing. Christmas is coming up. We'll be doing another video on that too. So hope you guys enjoyed all this. I mean, this is, this is the passion for us. We love bringing joy to kids and joy to people that just enjoy decorating and coming to look and reminds me of what it used to be like when I was a kid. So... Oh, what do you know? Do you know who's going to pop on? There you go. He kicks his feet out one night. Yes, so, oh, yeah, come sure. closer. See? Come right up this way. <laughs>
so yeah that's the uh that's the collection guys this thing is some of the funnest things uh, i think one of the funnest houses you'll see lots of really cool stuff a lot of vintage halloween blow molds and stuff inside and even the stuff inside is really cool so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to like subscribe comment share all that great stuff much appreciated and if you guys get some time you want to come on talk about your halloween collection feel free to stop out to our shop and get your antique fix on m66 see you guys later